Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our steam locomotive. As you guys can see, it is now green instead of red and black. Uh, and essentially what we're going to do today is sort of a big old testing bit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make the train even faster than it currently is. I know that we did that last time, we sped it up a little bit, but this time we're going to try and speed it up a little bit more. So, what we're going to do is turn this thing into a 2 by 2 by 2 by 1. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually a real thing ever, I don't think that's ever been made, but that is what we're going to do today. So, we're going to have some pistons powering these two wheels right here, and hopefully that'll be really cool. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so in order to actually make this work, we're going to have to delete a lot of this, but uh, essentially it's just going to be this bit right here. Delete this guy, delete most of this, there we go, most of this, and this guy, and most of that too. Essentially, we just need to make room uh, for... We need to make room for the pistons to actually go in there. So, let's go straight to this, grab this guy and this guy, go ahead and cut it, and move it backwards. Actually, the first thing we should do is actually grab one of these, and put it in here like this kind of thing. Oh, it's going to be like off-center, isn't it? It is going to be a little bit off-center. So that way is forwards, obviously. And the other way is backwards. Okie dokie. Uh, and that actually looks too tall. It is a little bit too high, isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and try and drop this down. Try and fit it in the right place. And that would be great. So if we can, let's go ahead and box this off right here. Deleting. Oh, no. Let's not delete anything. <laughs> Let's not delete anything. Okay, so if we can smash this onto the bottom of there. Uh, kind of like that. Yeah, actually. That will work. And then as long as that way is forwards. No, it's the wrong way around. I think it needs to be on here like this. But actually more like this. And I don't think I can actually attach that onto there. Um, but is it at the right height? No. It needs to be one higher. It does actually need to be one higher. So delete this, attach this to, I don't know, here and here, and then try and attach this guy to th that. I mean, I don't know. Is this how it works? Turn around. I can't attach it onto anything because it's not really how it works. Come on. All right, here we go. Attach this to there. Turn it around. Turn it around again. There we go. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is merge this guy with these guys. There we go. And... That's it. There we go. Okay, merge this with this. And essentially, we need to make this area look nicer. But that's that's it. That's what I wanted. All right, so it might get a little bit confusing now with piping and stuff like that. But it is something that we can actually work on. So, uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Make sure it is all actually working. Uh, there we go. They are connected together right there. And these guys are connected together right there. And that totally works. Yes. Okay, cool. So, we get our steam out and we get our steam in right there. We need to try and make sure that they go, like, through, if that makes sense. So this guy is going to get piped up like this. There you go. Um, this one's actually going to go around the side and then back in. So that's going to go that way. Um, I wouldn't normally do around the outside, but that's, that's the way it's going to go. So there you go. Anyway, drag this guy backwards to about there. We can then go through here. Uh, drag this guy backwards to about there. And we can go through there. And hopefully this will all be fine. I think it will be, so this goes upwards, we'll go up one, we'll then send it that way, and send it through, there we go, okay, this guy's going through, this guy's going through, um, it might be a bit tricky on the inside of here to actually get things in position, uh, but I think we can do it, I don't know, <laughs> the answer is we might be able to do it actually, but there you go, so now that we've got those going through there, we need some pumps in here, and we also need to connect it to the rest of the stuff, so this is going to be quite tricky. Okay, so, um, what do we need to do? What is this? Is this the steam? Yeah, that's the whistle. Okay, so, what we need to do is actually delete this guy right here, and we're gonna send this off the side, uh, and hopefully go into steam in, which is actually that one. Okay, cool. So, that's gonna go straight into this guy, and hopefully that'll work. So, uh, straight pipe enclosed, grab this, go ahead and put it on there, put this on here, and essentially, instead of going this way, which we can actually get rid of all of this now. Oh, no, we can't, because of this. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna. I'm modifying. We are drastically modifying this creation. Okay, delete all of those guys. There we go. We're not gonna have those. We're not gonna use those. So, leave this here for now. That's okay. What we need to do is have a pump on this, 
uh, somewhere. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, delete that guy. Okay. This is going to be quite tricky for my brain. Not going to lie. Okay, so that is steam in right there. Steam goes into the piston. Very good. We're then going to get ourselves a pump. Uh, just like this one. And we're going to turn it around. And we're going to put it there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't work. We can't do that because this piece is in the way. So we're going to actually have to put this all the way back here. And the right way around, presumably. Presumably. Okay, so fluid in actually needs to go on the other side. There we go. Actually flip it over, turn it around, press U. Oh my goodness. There we go, put that there. And then I think what we can do is actually bring it back to here and then send it forwards. All right. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this goes backwards like so. Excellent. We're then going to bring it down, obviously. We're going to bring this guy sideways and then we're going to send it upwards just like so. Straight into there like that. Good. That pump sends it straight into this piston on this side. Then we need another pump that will send... Um, can I get rid of these, actually? Can I just move these out of the way? In fact, what are these for? Do they connect to anything? That doesn't actually connect to anything. And if that just connects to there, we're going to delete them. Okay, they are unnecessary. Good. Uh, so we need a pump like this. There you go. And then fluid in. Actually, fluid in goes on the other side. Bam, there we go. Uh, what we need to do is this. Delete these guys. This is tricky. This is so tricky. Okay, what's this one? This is steam in as well, right? Presumably. Yes, it is. Okay, so the steam has to come out of that one over there. Go backwards. And go into this guy. Which, I guess is fine. Okay, we're slowly but surely doing this. Um, mm, 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 mm. That one's going to go on there like... Like that, there you go. And then from here, we're going to have it come inwards, like so. And we need a straight pipe in between those uh, that is also going to work. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay, straight piece there. Go ahead and angle piece that into there. Excellent. So what we've done here is we've added a pump so that it pumps it into the first piston. It then goes from the first piston into the second piston via a pump. And then from the second piston, all it needs to do is attach to this. That is... That is it. And then the rest of the system is still complete. And that's all fine. Okay. Is it actually, though? Do we need the steam to actually be released somewhere? Because I haven't done that. Uh, but there you go. Bam. Smack that into there. Make sure all the pumps are actually working. Which I think they will. I don't know. What are they all connected to? This. They're all connected to... Where is it? This guy? Yeah, this guy. Okay, so we need to make sure that pump works. That pump works. And... I think that's all of it. I think that's everything that we need to do, actually. So, let's go ahead and spawn it in. I won't decorate the bottom end just yet. I want to make sure it works. Uh, let's get inside and see how fast this thing will go. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this will actually work out. It might. It might also not. I don't know. Okay, so I believe uh, when we got to the end of here, we were going about 39. Uh, something like that. Uh, I should probably test the other one, actually, but I think this should go more than 40 because we've got two pistons doing it now instead. And when I say two pistons, it's actually more. Um, but yeah, the pump gets pumped into this one. It then gets pumped from this one into the other one. It then gets pumped from the other one into this one and then pumped from this one into the other one. And then from there, it's getting into the condensers and back from there. So it should work. Also, this looks very ugly now. And what if we don't have a back end? What if this is just flying? Is that too strange? Guys, we're about to start moving. 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so the pressure should start going up in the boiler. Any second now, we should start moving as soon as that happens. The back one seems to be working. The front one doesn't yet. But as soon as the steam gets pumped through, I believe the front will start working. Okay, now both are actually working. Good. We're at 35 already. 36, 37. 38. Okay, we're not at the bend yet. 40. Okay. We've hit 40 and that seems to be where we like to sit. 41. We are still speeding up. 43. Oh, look at this. 44. Nice. Okay, can we get any faster than that? We're at the bend. We got to 44 before the bend. That's not... That's not bad, actually. That is not terrible. Yeah, okay, so... 
We're going around this bend at 46. It has actually sped up the train quite drastically, which is awesome. We'll get around here. I want to see if we can actually get as far as possible. Um, and I want to see if it will actually sustain this speed. So our boiler pressure has gone all the way down. But that's okay. It's actually staying about right. We're at 50 meters per second. This is fast. This is very fast. We might even fall off the tracks here because it does get a little bit windy throughout this little canyon. Look at my back. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, we've, we've blown up. But we are still moving. Uh, so that's good. We're still going 50. Okay, the rear thing is going crazy back there. Um, yeah, we're going to get rid of that bogey. I'm just going to go ahead and try and make the back of the train look nice uh, with that. We're going 52. This is a fast locomotive now. Excellent. All right, guys. So from what I've seen, uh, we're actually going 116 me, uh, mile, uh, miles per hour, which um, honestly, the fastest train or the fastest steam locomotive in the world went 126. So we're actually not that far off. And I, I think we can get rid of this. Uh, I don't think we need it, so we're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to leave the bumper bit on. Um, actually, that's not even part of it. It's not even part of the train. Uh, and we're going to try and make this look a little bit nicer, fit it in, and obviously fit it to this too. So I'm going to just seal this off. There we go. I'm going to seal that off to there, and I'm going to do this bit too. And I might also... Oh, I need to do this on both sides. That's annoying. Okay, do that bit right there. Do these bits to there, and... I guess just seal it. There we go. Do that. Um, from here, we can actually seal off the inside and do this bit. And yeah, just leave it like that. I know it comes in and it looks a bit odd, but we can have it. We, we can have it do that. We'll, we'll let it. So there you go. Okay, that is actually very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yes. Okay, so what I'll do is actually seal this off here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. I like this. There you go. And that looks good to me, actually. That looks very good to me. I'm happy. All right, so I don't really see a way of actually making this any faster with the way that we have it. But honestly, I think the way that we have it now, which is a 2x2x2 two by two by two, uh, locomotive, I actually really like it. I don't like how this looks, though. I really don't like how these pipes look on the side. So let's go ahead and try and fix that to make it look a little bit nicer. In fact, let's delete all of these guys right here. We can maybe have it just go straight upwards, like so. Um, all the way up to there, I guess. And then send it backwards. I delete that guy. Send it straight into there. And yeah, I think that'll look better. Sure. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like now. There it is. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get it moving again and see what kind of speeds we can get from it. Uh, I'm also actually going to go ahead and change this one. Um, a little bit more. I don't know whether I want the front gun on it. I, I really don't know whether I want the front gun. I think it's kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Um, but I want to see how fast this will go with the tender on it. And I want to see what kind of speeds we can get out of it. So what we'll do is we'll save it. We'll take it to the desert and I'll spawn it in there. And we'll have a long straight piece of track where we can try and set a speed record. Let's get to it. Alright, here we are guys in the desert. So this uh, is one of the straightest bits of track that I can think of uh, right now in my brain. So this is where we are going to try the speed records. Now, I do need to figure out what kind of meters per second we need from this. Um, but I believe it will be around... Well, if we hit 60, we win. I'm pretty sure if we hit 60, we win. So, um, yeah. We're going to aim for 60 meters per second. If we hit that, we are... Uh, we're winners, and this will be the fastest steam locomotive ever! Well, not really, but you know, you can make faster ones in this game. Anyway, um, hopefully this works. Alright guys, we are moving. We are already at 27 meters per second, and we are on a straight better track. Remember this time, we do actually have like 5,000 liters of fuel, oh sorry, water behind us, and 1,000 coal as well. So we are actually pulling quite a weight. Um, I'm assuming that is going to slow us down quite drastically. But at the same time, it might not. I don't know. We'll see how this works. Uh, but we're continuing. We are already at 40 meters per second. I need to try and hit 60. Or at least like 55. I don't know whether that's going to happen with the tender on though. I don't know. It is worth mentioning that when the steam um, speed record was done in real life, um, the Mallard was actually pulling like a, a train car that has... Um, that had all the equipment on it to measure the speed, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we're at 43 meters per second, pulling just our tender. 
And um, that's pretty quick. It's just not quick enough. Maybe we should do it without our tender. Would that be cheating? I guess it would. I suppose it would. But um, I don't know. Maybe this is actually fast enough. I think it is. Okay, so I'm thinking of an idea. And I think you guys know what the idea is that I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm going to go and do this. And... Uh, oh my, I just got punched in the back by our thing. I don't know how I'm going to get back on board this. If it's traveling at the speeds that we think it's traveling at, that is going so fast. <laughs> okay, hang on. No, I, there's no way I'm getting back in this. There's no... Oh, it just died. It just got deaded. Ow! What did it hit that killed it? I don't understand. I mean, it's not even dead. It's still going, but, like, that's crazy. Um, okay. Meh. I'm on board! I did it! How do I get inside, though? Oh my. There's no way for me to get in there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get it again, and we're gonna see if uh, we can reach the speed record without a tender run. Alright, so I got it going again, and we are going 56. Alright, 56 is uh, our maximum so far. Whether it'll go any faster than that, I'm unsure, but um, 56, I think, beats the record. Uh, 56 meters per second is maybe more than 126 miles per hour? I think it is. I think we've done it. Good job, everybody. We did it. I just Googled it. We didn't do it. We did not do it. We were so close, though. Um, you have to get to, like, 56, I think, uh, in order to actually do it. Was I at 55? No. You have to get even higher than that, don't you? Um, but we're not quite gonna do it with this, I don't think. I think we might weigh too much. Uh, are we gonna get damaged again here? Because I don't know what damage does before. Uh... No. Okay, something destroyed us before on that little section, but never mind. Uh, 55 is what we're at. We're almost at 56. We are. Like it was... Oh, 56? 57? I think this is downhill. Nah, I don't know if it is. 57 is what we reached. We might even get 58. Oh, we did touch 58. Okay, for a second. Okay, 58 meters per second. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Yeah. Okay, so 58 meters per second does actually win the record because it is like almost 130 miles an hour, which is faster than the fastest steam locomotive in the world. So, um, that is pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>